Hello! This video is for Filipinos na uwi ng bansa at um, gusto kong malaman ano yung registration process ng e-travel. So, ang e-travel guys, part na yan ng buhay natin. Char! Sa lahat ng pasaherong uuwi ng bansa, mapa-aeroplano man yan or barko, kailangan mag-register sa e-travel. Yan, talagang required na yan siya guys. I know na there are some of us na who are wishing na sana tanggalin na yung e-travel, pero parang forever na yan, guys. Kasi a lot of government agencies ginagamit na yung e-travel, like customs, immigration, DOH, Department of Tourism, ayun. Sa pag-register naman sa e-travel, guys, pwede gamitin ang cellphone, pwede gamitin ang laptop. If you can use Facebook, uh, TikTok, or YouTube, means kaya mo to, kayang-kaya mo tong e-travel, guys. Madali lang to. Tanggalin mo yung isip mo na Tanggalin nyo po sa isipan yung mahirap siya. You have to think na kaya ko to at madali lang to. Ganun. So, yun yung gagawin natin sa video na ito. Ang goal natin is makakuha ng QR code. Pag fully vaccinated ka or kung may mga bata kayong kasama, ang makukuha nyo po ay QR code na may green background. It means go, express. Pag fully vaccinated ka, ang kagandahan... Ang kagandahan is, hindi mo na kailangan magpa-test. Again, kung fully vaccinated ka, hindi na kailangan magpa-test. Sino nga ba ang fully vaccinated? Siyempre, kung fully vaccinated ka, kompletong dose. Meron kang first dose, meron kang second dose. Kung J&J po yung natanggap nyo yung Johnson & Johnson, first dose ng J&J, okay na po yan. Considered ka na as fully vaccinated. Pero, for example, first dose ka lang ng Pfizer, first dose ka lang ng Moderna, hindi po pwede. Kailangan kung two series na vaccine, dapat two shots din po yung nakompleto ninyo. Okay, so, kompletuhin nyo po yung vaccine nyo. So, first dose at second dose lang. Yung ano guys, yung aside from that, kailangan din lampas na 14 days simula nang natanggap mo yung second dose mo. I know, majority of us matagal lang nakatanggap ng vaccine. So, hindi na yun problema. Next up is, whether na vaccinated ka 2020, 2021, or 2022, it doesn't matter. Hindi pa po expired yung vaccine ninyo. Tatanggapin pa rin po yan. How about booster? Hindi na required ang booster. Kahit wala kang booster, hindi na siya tinatanong, hindi na kailangan. Basta may two shots ka, two dose, okay na po yan. Hindi mo na kailangan magpates. While sa mga unvaccinated, partially vaccinated natin ng mga kababayan na 15 years old pataas, ito po yung makukuha ninyo red na QR code. Kung unvaccinated, walang quarantine as long as meron kang negative test result. Sa mga unvaccinated natin na kababayan, ito po yung kailangan. Rapid antigen test taken within 24 hours before departure. Kung wala namang antigen test, pwede din po yung RT-PCR Pero rapat, taken within 48 hours before departure. Again, kung RT-PCR, dapat within 48 hours before departure. Dapat hindi lumampas ng 2 days bago ang inyong flight. So, pwedeng RT-PCR or antigen. Ang basihan ng 24 hours or 48 hours ay oras ng pag-alis. Hindi yung arrival at hindi counted yung layover. Basta huwag ka lang lumabas ng airport sa layover mo. So, going back to e-travel, again, if fully vaccinated, hindi kailangan magpa-test. Kung unvaccinated, kailangan magpa-test. So, balik tayo sa e-travel. Sino ang kailangan magpa-register? Lahat. Sana all. Dapat lahat. Sana all. Lahat kailangan magpa-register sa e-travel. Kasama na yung mga bata. Kailan magpaparehistro? Pwede na po kayong magparegister sa e-travel sa loob ng apat na araw bago ang inyong pagdating sa Pilipinas. So, let's say sa araw ng inyong pag-alis or one day before your flight, pwede ka na magparegister. So, for example, guys, arrival nyo is sa January 31. You just count back four. So, one, two, three, four. As early as January 27, pwede ka na magparegister. Kasi nga, kung let's say hindi ka nagpa-register at balak mong sa Pilipinas na mag-register, mahaba yung pila guys. Ayaw mo mag-connect sa NIA Airport Wi-Fi kasi mahina. Tsaka hassle lang, magpa-register ka na in advance. 
And another reminder and warning guys, walang bayad ang e-travel. As long as you go to the correct website, ang e-travel po ay libre. May mga fake websites dyan na humihingi ng pera, they are pretending to be e-travel, ignore. Pag humihingi ng credit card, babay. Ang tamang website po sa pag-register ay etravel.gov.ph. That's it. Huwag ka nang pumunta pa sa ibang website. Before we register pala, prepare your Philippine passport, your itinerary, yung ticket mo, and vaccination card or certificate. Kasi may mga information doon na kailangan sa pag-register sa e-travel. So tara, let's go. Mag-register na tayo. Alright guys, before we go to um, e-travel website, I have to give you a warning that sometimes... You know, sometimes po yung website, it shows bad gateway or um, it will not load. That's normal. It happens. Ang gagawin nyo lang, i-reload nyo lang siya. And make sure you use standard um, browsers like Chrome or Mozilla Firefox. So, let's go to the e-travel website, e-travel.gov.ph. Yan, e-travel.gov.ph. So, this is the first part. We're gonna ask first question, Philippine passport holder or foreign passport holder. Mga Pinoy tayo, obviously, Philippine passport. Now, if there are dual Filipino citizens na nanonood, guys, if you are dual Filipino citizen, dalawa yung passport mo, may Philippine passport ka, of course. Ang pipiliin mo, Philippine passport. You may ask, ano bang passport ipapakita ko upon arrival? I've asked immigration about this many times, guys, in person. Always present both. Anyways, moving on, if you are a dual Filipino citizen and you don't have a Philippine passport, you only have foreign passport at um, certificate of your dual citizenship, ang pipiliin mo, of course, is yung foreign passport. But do not worry, that will not affect your immigration status in the country. Upon arrival sa immigration, you just show them your certificate and then they, you will be admitted as a Filipino citizen. They will just put a note on your foreign passport. Okay, let's go na guys. Philippine passport holder, transportation type air, of course. Date of arrival, go check your itinerary. It should be there. It should be there. January 31. Ayan. We are registering three days before our arrival. And then email. Don't worry about this email, guys. They don't, they don't even send confirmation email. Wala silang pinapadalang copy. So, you just put email. Kung wala kang email, you borrow an email from your family member. Okay lang po. But it's important na kailangan may ilagay ka dyan. Hindi pwedeng blank siya, guys. Hindi ka makaka-register kung blank. And then, agree mo yung check dyan. This is just, agree ka lang na they are collecting your information and you're being honest. Yes, I agree. Honest tayo, di ba? Then, continue. Right, now we're in personal profile. This is step 1 out of 5. First question, first name. Guys, what is written in your passport? Yun po yung ilalagay nyo dito. And then, passport number, go get your passport. Doon sa right side. Top right side. Okay? And sex. Birthday, always start with the year para hindi ka pa ulit-ulit. Citizenship. Country of birth. Philippines. Occupation. Ano ba yung ginagawa mo sa buhay? Oo. Ako ay isang... I like entertainer. And then, mobile number. If you have, kung may number ka sa Philippines, yan ilagay mo. Kung may number yung family mo, yan ilagay mo. But if wala ka yung number sa Philippines, you can change it kung anong country na meron ka. So, for example, you really live, live abroad. O, anong ilalagay mo? Ito yung number mo sa abroad. Huwag mong pahirapan ang buhay mo. So, let's say I live in the US. I'm gonna go United States. Okay, so name, passport number, date, birthday, citizenship, country of birth, occupation, at mobile number. Click next. And even nga kahit i-leave mo blank, blank ko yung mobile number, you can still be able to register. Okay, next is permanent country of residence. If you're a permanent resident abroad, syempre yung country address mo abroad ilalagay mo. Kung dito ka talaga sa Pilipinas nakatry, edi Philippine address, it's... Yeah. Kalma ka lang guys, huwag kayong magpanik dito Pwede mong i-type ganern Oo Para mas madaling hanapin Ganern Oo, barangay If nakalimutan nyo na yung barangay nyo I-ask nyo po sa family member ninyo And in house number, building street Next 
Travel details. Well, this is the part na kailangan nyo pong kunin yung itinerary ninyo. First question, date of arrival, nasagutan na natin yan. Next is country of origin. Ano ba yung ilalagay sa country of origin? So, for example, guys, you're coming from the US, may layover ka sa Japan, then Manila, and then final destination, Davao. Ano yung ilalagay sa country of origin? Japan ba or US? Saan ka ba nang galing? Ilalagay mo po kung saan ka talaga nang galing, US. Yung layover countries, hindi yan counted, guys. So, ilalagay ko for this video is United States. Are you an overseas Filipino worker? O if W ka ba, registered ka ba sa POEA? May OEC ka ba? Naka-working visa ka ba? Yun lang naman, yes or no. For this video, I know most of my viewers are nano. If W's, ilalagay ko no. Purpose of travel? Are you going home for vacation? Health? Uh, visit family or friends? Pinakamadaling answer dyan is visit family, visit friends or relatives. Next is flight number. So, for example, if marami kayong flights, ano ba yung ilalagay sa flight number? So, for example, I have this. Los Angeles to Incheon, Korea, and then Incheon, Korea to Manila. Anong ilalagay kong flight number? Is it Los Angeles to Korea or Korea to Manila? Ang ilalagay is yung flight na magla-landing sa Philippines. Ano ba? Yung Incheon to Manila. So, yan guys, na mahanap yan sa itinerary ninyo. So, for this one, it's OZ703. So, OZ, alphabetical order yan. Alphabet, uh, numerical, alphabetical. So, kung type nyo O, mabilis nyo siyang mahanap. Or pwede nyo nang scroll Huwag kayong mag-type, guys. Talagang kailangan nyo siyang iselect sa options. So, kunwari ilang O. O, oh, yan. OZ703. And then, seat or bed number. If alam nyo, go, ilagay nyo dyan. If hindi nyo alam, leave it blank. It's important guys ha, reminder na wag nyo pong walain yung boarding pass ninyo kasi hahanapin po yan ng immigration. And if you have a boarding pass na may QR code or barcode, you can use that para dun kayo dumaan sa e-gates. Sa e-gates, mas mabilis kaysa dun sa manual immigration na, na clearance. So wag nyo pong walain yung boarding pass nyo, okay? So, as soon as you put yung flight number nyo, automatic na magigi, automatic na mag-show up yung name of airline tsaka airport of arrival. Now, may nagtatanong, Jennifer, hindi ko po mahanap yung flight number ko sa options. Parang imposible yan. Pero, if that happens, kung hindi mo talaga mahanap yung flight number mo, ang pipiliin mo ay 01. Yan, pag 01, automatic lalabas ng commercial flight, special flight. Traveler type, ayan, aircraft passenger. Okay, that's it. Double check. Next. Next up is health declaration. Kunin nyo po yung vaccination card or certificate ninyo dahil we need information from there. First question, kailan nyo po natanggap yung first dose ninyo? So, ilalagay nyo lang, kunin yung vaccination card. I have here a white CDC card. I got it April 29, 2021. Ayan, mag-start kayo sa year 2021, April 29. Ayan. Name of vaccine, ours is Pfizer. Then, vaccinated for second dose? Yes. Guys, it's important na dapat complete yung vaccination. Kung hindi complete, for example, Pfizer ka lang, dapat second dose yan, di ba? But what if you only have one? Hindi ka considered fully vaccinated niyan. Kailangan mo ng negative test result. So, completuhin niyo po yung vaccine dose ninyo. Anyways, our second dose, kailan natin natanggap? May 20. May 20, 2021. Mag-start sa year. Then, May 20. Yan. Name of vaccine, Pfizer pa rin. If you receive mixed dose, pa iba-iba ng dose, acceptable po yan. While sa mga unvaccinated, leave it blank. Kasi hindi naman kayo vaccinated, walang vaccine info, leave it blank. Then automatically, pag you leave it blank, may question dyan na, do you have a negative test result, rapid antigen? You answer yes or no. Next question is, countries work, visited or transited? So, sa atin, in our case, we have a transit in South Korea. So, ilalagay natin, South Korea. Kung marami kayong transit, you can just click add, add, add. ba diba? Add, add, add. Ayan. Next question. Exposed ka ba sa COVID? History of exposure to known, probable, or confirmed COVID case. 14 days before the signs or symptoms of or if asymptoma, uh, 
or if asymptomatic, naswab ka ba, na test ka ba, or na expose ka ba sa may taong may monkeypox, yes or no? In our case, no. Have you been sick in the past 30 days? Nagkasakit ka ba for the past 30 days? That's a very vague question. What kind of sick? Yes or no? Well, answer truthfully. In my case, I will say no. And then that's it, guys. You just click next. And then you wait you lang po mag-load. You just have to be patient. Now, it will give us the chance to correct or double-check yung information na sinabmit natin. So, double-check that you have input everything correctly. Ayan, ating name, birthday, ating address, travel details, okay, ating vaccine info, transit, wala tayo na-expose, hindi tayo nagkasakit, click submit. Yay! We got it! Diba? Ang dali-dali lang, guys. Super. If you are really struggling, kung nahihirapan talaga kayo, you can ask your family members or friends to do it for you. Basta meron sila nung information mo and you get the QR code copy, then you're good to go. For kababayans who are unvaccinated, the process is the same. You just have to skip the vaccination info. Yun lang. And your QR code will be read. O kung unvaccinated, red. Kung fully vaccinated, green. Remember to register children as well. They need QR code as well. Dapat individual basis to. And every time you enter the country, you have to make a new registration. So this is all about e-travel. I hope this was helpful. And if it was, please leave a like on the video. Share this to anyone who will be traveling soon and is wondering how to do this e-travel. This is really just very simple. And God bless you all guys. I will let you know if there's any changes or if there's any update. Um, I'll see you later. God bless. Enjoy your time in the Philippines. Bye.